Except this is your bro David here. Hey guys, it's me John. And today we will be reviewing the Genius Max Fire 12 Grand DS and controller. So, first impressions the paint job of the controller is very nice, very beauty. Yes. Uh, a mix the, of matte and glossy. The shape of the controller fits nice in our palms. In our hands. And <clears throat> the controller feels just the right quality, but not like as the Logitech one, Logitech. it's very high quality. So, what's your first impressions? So my first impressions was that the, the turbo mode, here the turbo button, if it's green, is normal and it's red, if it's red, it's turbo. My first impression yeah. is that the green and red colors looks very attractive yes. i hope very bright. i was hoping that the logo would light up too but it doesn't so yeah. hmm. the buttons feels nice the triggers up here feels nice but the cable feels very very thin so yes that's uh not that's a reminder for you guys if you want to buy a ten dollar controller we'll talk about this so it's later. Ten dollars in the U.S. and it's in the in Philippines is five hundred pesos. So let's get to the specs. It says here that the button has an eight-way D-pad, dual analog sticks. Its interface is via USB, and it's plug and play. It's wired. It it was built for PC gaming only yes and it says here it, it has 12 buttons but I don't know how they did that yes I don't know it has 8 way trigger pad which is 8 buttons 2 joysticks which has like 2 click 2 buttons that's 10 4 buttons for the front and a button for the mode the 15 fire buttons for the what you call this? I don't know controls in the game. Okay, controls and like four triggers. So this like eight, nine, ten, maybe two, three, four. Twenty-four. So it's twenty-four. Twenty-four buttons. I don't know how they got that in twelve. Maybe they cut in half. So would we out oh, there there's also a problem first that I want to raise the cable here on my look on my controller here um, snapped and yes. almost snapped I saw it's like barely hanging I saw it's cables inside the red black and white thingy so I put um, a zip tie here that I put it there to lock it in place for reinforcement reinforcement for support of the cable and st it still works now but it has a problem the cable here is very thin uh, I hope the yes. V version of this is wireless or the cable is yes much very thicker. Very thicker and one thing it's 23 buttons not 24 it's counting what the <laughs> So, would <coughs> we recommend this controller? Yes. If you are on a budget, on a budget, or because you can afford the Logitech ones, it has like noticeable flaws. Like, for example, this wire, and hmm, what else? <laughs> the the game pads, the joysticks, feels a little bit cheap. Cheap. Not, not very cheap, but yeah, it feels like more plastic. And that's it. So, guys, and you can see the scratches very well. Yeah, on the gloss finish. So, guys, we reviewed the Genius Max Fire Gandria Grand DS, not the V version, of course. That's all for today in this video. If you want to say something, comment down below in this 
video if you want to give us tips as well yes and like and subscribe like and subscribe <laughs> helps us very much if the subscribe button is this the subscribe button is red that means you're not subscribed yes so click the subscribe button down below also we have our website in the link in the description down below as yes. well that's all for today guys this is Rebel Tech. see you in the next video